What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the PC Fun YouTube channel. I don't know why you're on a bike because you are about to be in this video. There is no biking today. So guys, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a little while. Now, my daughter, Adrian, has been fishing since she was really little, like three years old. She hasn't really learned how to master a bait casting reel yet. So I know there's a ton of people out there who are just trying to learn how to use bait casters or who kind of need the bait casting 101. So today's goal, today's mission, is going to be to take Zai out here. We're gonna either do it like right in our road or the yard here. And we're gonna try to get her to learn how to properly use a bait casting reel. Now, as part of this video, we are going to be going through how you set your reel, um, how to avoid backlashes and all those sorts of things. And hopefully by the end of the video, she is at least grasping the concept of how to use the bait caster so she can start using that as part of her fishing repertoire. Additionally, you wanna make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because we are going to be giving away a brand new PC Fun Flame in our blue flame color. So definitely a super, super sick addition to the PC Fun lineup. And we figured it would be a great time to give one away since we just came out with it. So make sure you guys stay tuned all the way to the end because we are gonna do that giveaway. We're gonna go ahead, jump right into it, figure out what reel we're gonna use and exactly how we're gonna do this. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we are gonna start with the PC Fun Alloy M. Now, the reason I'm choosing the Alloy M is because it's a magnetic braking reel. You guys can see on the side here, it's magnetic. It's easy to adjust. It's got 12 magnets on the inside, so it's easy to adjust. Um, and it's got a very, very good fine-tuned tension spool system on the side or tension knob system. And then also what we're gonna do is anytime you're just starting to use a casting reel, you wanna use something that's got a heavier weight on it. The heavier, the better when you're starting because it's easy to avoid those backlashes. So we have got a half ounce tungsten weight on here. Uh, with a creature and we're just gonna have her practice a little bit starting out with that. First, we're gonna go over the basics, kind of show her how to tune the reel and hopefully that will help you guys at home as well. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is talk about how the casting reel works. So as you can see, there's a thumb bar below her thumb right now. When you press that thumb bar, this spool is going to disengage. It's gonna free spool. You can see she just did that. So go ahead and reel it back up again and show them again how that works. Okay, now you can see already, you see a little bit of line in here, like there's a backlash starting. We're gonna show you guys how to avoid getting those on the cast. Now, Zai, you really haven't done a whole lot of casting reels. So this is really, truly showing someone like from the beginning, how this works. And we're gonna see if you can make a successful cast by the end of the video. You think you'll be able to do it? Yeah. I wasn't very confident. I think I can. I got faith in you. I think you'll be able to do it. We'll, we'll get it dialed in. We're gonna jump into the first part of how to make sure that you're dialed in for the lure that you're using. So as I mentioned before, guys, you can see all of the magnets on the inside of this reel. Um, those multiple magnets are really gonna help you when you go to cast and help you avoid backlashing. As you can see, there's a bunch of magnets. Most reels actually only have about half this many magnets. It's kind of one of the quality things you can see with PC Fun. We went to that full magnet system to give you that full magnetic field when you're using your brakes. I'm gonna kind of talk about that a little bit and we're gonna talk about how to set up right away as you're gonna to try to make your first cast. The first thing we wanna do is show you the magnetic dial. You can see that this is at zero brakes and then it goes all the way up, one, two, three, four, all the way up to 10. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take our magnetic dial and we're gonna dial it up to five. Almost there, one more. Okay, now you're on five. So that's a good midway starting point if you're just learning how to use a bait caster. Now we're gonna do the bait drop test. You wanna reel up to the tip, but leave enough of a gap so that you're not damaging the tip of your rod. So go ahead and hold your rod tip up, and then you're going to make that drop, and you wanna stop the lure before it hits the ground so you don't backlash. Okay, so that wasn't a super fast drop, but it was still a little bit too fast to make a good cast. So now we're just gonna adjust our tension knob. So go ahead and reel back up to where it was, and then we'll make an adjustment. The nice thing about most PC phone reels, if you look on the side here, we have this adjusting tension knob, and this actually makes a noise every time you click it. So you can hear that. So we're gonna have her go ahead and rotate it forward about three clicks. Okay, now we're gonna try that test again. Okay, so now that we've adjusted our tension knob and we've got our bait reeled up, we're gonna try that test again and see how fast it drops. Okay, so it's not so it's not dropping at all now. So now we know that it's too tight. So now we need to back it off. So because the lure didn't drop, now we're gonna make a small adjustment on the casting reel to see how it drops. So go ahead and knock it back one click. Okay, now go ahead and try the drop. Okay, now that was still a little fast. Now go forward one click. Try it again. Okay, that was a nice, smooth, slow drop. So now we've got our rod adjusted to the point where we know that we can make a good cast without backlashing, hopefully. 
Now, when it comes to the mechanics of holding the reel, you have to make sure you're holding it properly to get your best cast. As you can see, she's got her finger behind the trigger on the casting rod in that comfortable grip space. Now, the next step is going to be to press down the thumb bar, so go ahead and do that. And now when you cast, you're gonna to wanna to maintain just a slight bit of contact, a little bit, but you're gonna let the spool spin against your thumb, okay? So you're gonna come back. So go, we're gonna do this slowly, step by step. So you're gonna come back with the rod behind your head, like you're gonna make a cast, okay? And then when you cast, you're gonna let go at a 45 degree angle. That's about at the top of these trees up here. That's where you're gonna let go. So you wanna make sure that your thumb maintains contact with that braid on the spool, but you have to let the spool spin. Okay, you have to do that. You have to let go of that pressure right when you get to that point. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try our first cast and see how it goes. Okay, so it went, it didn't go super far, but that wasn't too bad. So let's stay right there. Don't reel. Let's see where that went. So put the braid over my head here. So our cast went about this far. So that's not too bad. Overall, that cast probably went about, I would say 30 feet. So that's a good start. Let's go ahead and reel in. Let's try again. Another good tip here before we do our second round is I want you to act like you were casting's eye, but don't cast. So bring it back. Now go slowly forward like you're gonna cast. Now stop. See how you came all the way down? Go up. That should be up at a 45 degree angle. Up and stop. And you need to point the tip of your rod wherever you want your bait to go. That's how you figure out exactly how you're gonna land and where you're gonna land. Okay, so here is round two. You're gonna go ahead and go back again. Press that button. And then you're gonna go, and remember you're gonna let it go right up there at a 45 degree angle and try to get it right in the middle of the road and keep your rod pointed where you want your bait to go. Okay, so what happened? So now you backlashed, right? Yeah. Okay, and that's okay. That's normal. It's totally normal to backlash. So this is what we're talking about, guys. What happened there is she ended up releasing it too late it hit the ground and it caused the backlash to happen so now how do we get a backlash out we're going to keep our spool open and we're going to pull okay we're stuck already so now we need to figure out where we're stuck and we need to pick the reel to be able to get there so we have the backlash we're going to go ahead we're going to start pulling out and fortunately this isn't a bad one it's not let's see we got stuck right there we're going to figure out where we got stuck we're just going to pick that line out right there we can see we're stuck we're just going to pick that line out and you're just gonna keep progressively doing that and eventually you'll get to the bottom of your backlash like this where everything is okay again. Then we're just gonna take, put it in between our fingers and spool it up tight again so that we're ready for our next cast. Okay, so we're gonna do one more try for Zai at the end of this, see if she can get one, but I'm gonna demonstrate how a cast should look. So again, I've got my form, come back, and I'm pointing where I want it to go. That cast probably went about 55 feet. And as you can see, it was a very easy cast. Now, I've been doing this for a long, long time, so of course I make it look easy. But if you're new to this, don't worry about backlashing. Don't worry about casting super far, because as you get better at this, you're going to be able to adjust your reel that's going to allow you to cast further. Now, let me tell you one of the greatest reasons why people backlash their reels. They think in order to cast further, you have to really whip that rod. So I'm going to cast really hard right now. Okay, that was a bad example. That was a really good, really far cast. But what happens when you overcast a lot of times is it's gonna move so fast out of the reel that it's gonna end up bunching up your line into a backlash. So don't overcast, let the reel and the rod do the work for you. You don't have to have the big muscles to get the long cast. All right, so here is the third shot at a cast. Again, she's never been casting these, this is all new. So your first one was, was a pretty decent cast. Your second one, you let go too late, so it backlashed, which again, totally normal. And then your last one, let's see how this one goes. Okay, so much better. That one was also probably about 30, 35 feet. So what happened there is you didn't release fast enough or high enough and your rod tip came down too far. So your bait went down instead of going up. So we're gonna try one more just for good measure. We're gonna let it go at the top of the trees and see how far we can get. Okay, fourth and final attempt for Zai. Much better. That was a great cast. That one probably went close to about 40 feet. So you did that good mechanics, you followed through and you pointed exactly where you want to go. And look, right where your rod is pointing is exactly where that bait ended up, ended up right over there. So in only four casts, you were able to go from not knowing how to use a casting reel to being able to cast it successfully without a backlash. What do you think about that? 
Did you think it was gonna be harder than that? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people make it out to be like this big nightmarish thing, but it's not as hard as people make it seem. You know guys, one of the things about the sport of fishing that has happened over the years is, and I'm not blaming anyone, but a lot of people have made this sport out to be a sport that is very elitist and very hard to do. And the reality is guys, there there's not that much difficulty to this stuff. Really what you need is you either need a resource, like a video like this to kind of show you how to do it, or talk to someone who already does it and get some help from them. By getting help from a seasoned pro or someone who's been doing this for a long time, or even YouTube, you can definitely get a good sense of how to do this, and it's not as scary as it seems. So don't be scared about switching over from that spinning reel into that casting reel, because you'll pick it up pretty quickly once you start practicing. All right, guys, here is the giveaway for our brand new Blue Flame Flame Spinning Reel. This reel is super smooth, and it's one of our entry-level, super affordable reels, but the performance is way higher than the price. This reel has 13 pounds of drag, offers up 10 bearings and is crazy, crazy smooth. So this is a great reel to enter for the giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, share this video, go down below and drop a comment and you will be entered to win. We are going to select a winner one week from today, next week, Sunday. So Zai is still practicing here in the background. I think she's probably gonna be hooked on practicing with this casting reel now, which is a great thing. But seriously guys, do not be intimidated by going to a casting reel. It's actually a lot easier than you think. You just have to get out there and you have to try it. And again, start with a reel that's gonna have a good braking system that's gonna allow you to do it. And don't be afraid. Don't feel like you need to cast 100 yards right off the bat. You know, you don't have to bomb that lure way out there. Just get used to the reel. And the more you get used to it, then you can back off those brakes. You can back off that tension. Then you can make those really long bomb casts that you see everybody making who's been doing these reels for a long time. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope that it helps some of you. I know that it's a very beginner video. I know a lot of you who use casting reels are not gonna find this information helpful, but I know that a lot of people who are just getting started or a lot of kids who are getting started will watch this video and they will definitely find it helpful to be able to learn how to cast for the first time. So I appreciate all of you watching. Guys, go down below if you like this video. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. We want you to be one of the first ones to come here. Be subscribed so you can see our giveaways, our fishing videos, our tournament videos, all sorts of fun stuff that we're doing here as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we will see you guys on the next one.